let me just ask this question, right? What is the most resilient parasite? The answer, according to Inception, is an idea. And this film, Inception, was just... It was complex, but yeah, at the same, it was simple, but extremely complex, as it were. The idea of... The, basically, what Inception means is, you know, you, you, you put an idea into, into someone's mind subconsciously okay you're having to make them believe that what you're telling them or what you're making them do is is really happening and with inception this film it is done on such a i don't even know what kind of scale but uh it's it's done on a huge scale um the characters, the the actors who, who who were in this film, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, Joseph Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Marion Cotillard, Ellen Page, Killian Murphy, Michael Caine, Ken Watanabe, Tom Hardy, Tom Berenger, all of them were so involved in this film that you couldn't really tell them apart in terms of like their acting ability in this film. The story was just out there, and I mean out there. This has got to be the most complex film I have ever watched. Honestly, it has to be the most complex film I've ever, ever watched. Um, seriously, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of the actual film. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio plays um, a spy for hire known as Dom Cobb. He steals ideas in people's dreams, but Ken Watanabe's character um, proposes to him to achieve the impossible, which is called Inception. Basically, planting the idea into the mind of the target. Okay. Apparently, it's extremely impossible. But it's not that it's extremely impossible. It is possible, but just extremely difficult. Two differences, obviously. Now, if he succeeds in doing this, he gets to see his his children that he's never that he's apparently you know it's he's, he's trying to see his children again that's the, that's the pretty much one of the main points of the film is that he's trying to he wants to see his kids again and you'll find out in the film why he wants to see his kids again and his wife is played by Marion Cotillard she plays a vital role in this film it is just amazing um so if he but if he if he fails he'll be trapped forever as it were and again you have to watch the film to understand how it's possible for him to be trapped um as I say, Marion Cotillard plays his wife. She's got a vital role. Joseph Gordon-Levitt was just awesome in this movie. Seriously, he was. He was just fantastic. Tom Hardy, brilliant again as well. He was awesome. Um, Ellen Page, she plays what's known as the architect. When you're in the dream, she creates the environment. Okay, she creates the uh, the the you know the buildings, the the the, the places, the people. Look, we're well, not the people. The people are created by the dream of the person that you're in. So, say, you know, in, in for example, in the film, they enter, um, you know, just, just as a practice, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio got Ellen Page in the dream, although she wasn't aware of it, to be honest, right? And she had created the environment, but she did not know that she had actually created the environment. This was the thing. It's got. She has to create an environment in as as a, as a well. It's got to be complex, basically. Um, but you have to honestly. You have to see the film to understand exactly what I'm trying to say. Because I'll say it right now. This film is two and a half hours long, but for like the first thirty minutes, after that, I was I was lost. I completely forgot what the hell was going on. <laughs> Seriously, I really did. Um, Ken Watanabe is, as I say, plays the character who, who's known as the tourist. Um, he is who gives the job offer to um, Don, Dom Cobb, and um, but has to he, he follows them into the dream. You know he he has to make sure that the job is being done correctly and right. Um, Tom Hardy, the forger, he um, basically sort of pieces everything together, kind of you know in 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 a sense he pieces certain things together that are may otherwise be misplaced or maybe they need for him to do something and convince the other person that this is what's happening in the dream and as the film goes on you find out just how complex this film really is 
because Killian Murphy's character is um, the son of a billionaire and he's known as the mark he's the target he Killian Murphy is a the target they're the one that they that they need to plant the idea into but oh my god it really does throw up some conf some serious complex situations that you just think to yourself how the fuck did that happen why is that happening what's going on wait there how what's why is that doing? and you, you know you you look in and your your mind is going into overdrive because you're thinking this is this is unbelievable, and this there's a fight scene where I mean you've, you've seen a trailer, and you'll see where Joseph Gordon Levitt's character um, I think it's called Arthur, is having a fight with someone um, in what appears to be a hotel like sort of corridor, and you know they they're moving in Matrix style. Okay, that part of the film probably the best part ever, ever literally okay so you have to watch it to understand what I'm talking about but you know honestly I rate this film highly this film has to be the best I've seen of 2010 definitely hands down it's got to be the most amazing well constructed yet very complicated film ever as the slogan says your mind is the scene of the crime and I have to admit oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that slogan was no more true than than, than everything that happened within this film. Um, yeah, even the end. Wow, that's all I'm gonna say. Absolutely wow. Um, Christopher Nolan, honestly, I take my hat off to you, dear boy. You are awesome. I think now you have surpassed James Cameron as the best director ever, because there's no way you can go through life as a director making a movie as complicated as this yet still be able to you know just just to have the imagination and the and the idea the the, the thinking behind it the thought process david i believe david goya no no not david goya it was it was christopher nolan who actually wrote the script yes he wrote the script himself so you know you know that oh my god Christopher Nolan has outdone himself. I mean, I thought that, you know, we all thought The Dark Knight two years ago was awesome, but I think Inception has just leaped above that immensely. If, you, if you've watched it, let me know what you thought of it. If you haven't been to see it, go and see it. Seriously, go and see it. It is just, I've got to say, it's probably the best film I've ever seen at the moment so far. If not, not, not just for 2010, but ever. Um, yeah. I don't think you're going to get any more complex than this. How the hell Christopher Nolan came up with this idea, I will never know. I mean, the, Chris, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio said, said in an interview with Empire that it was based on, like, I think some like multiple layers of dimensions of, you know, of narration, as it were. And it's like, how the hell does that work? But you have to watch the movie to see and get some feel of how that works because. I can't even begin to explain it. I'm, as I said, I'm not giving anything away. You have to see it because I can't even give anything away even if I wanted to, to be honest. But seriously, get yourself to the cinema, go and see it, let me know what you think. Christopher Nolan, I'm glad you're doing Batman and I'm glad you're going to be producing Superman. I can't wait to see what you've got in line for those two films. Thank you very much and thank you to everyone who's watched. Speak to you later.